Alright, what's going on guys? Another day. I've got some discus today, but first things first, I've got a rib out of place on my back that's killing me. Uh, so I'm going to the chiropractor right now, super awesome guy in town. Um, super cheap too, I think he charges five bucks uh, to go see a chiropractor. You cracks your back, you get on like this rolling table thing, they'll give you exercise and stuff if you need it. Anyway, awesome deal, like Scott Wagner, the awesome guy. Um, but then I'm getting sick now too, which really sucks. So there's been the flu going around, so I'm really hoping it's not the flu, hopefully it's just a cold. Um, but I feel like crap, I slept terrible in the rib out of place, it's just, uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, think positive, get through the day. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit, going to the chiropractor now, and uh, I'll be back at practice, I guess. Alright, outdoors for some discus today, been feeling super good in the disc, so same thing as every other day. Uh, Trying to keep the disc long and at my side, not letting it get behind. Um, and once I get to fulls, just try to keep it kind of static, uh, keep it long. But it was feeling good, starting with stand throws, and then uh, we'll see what we got today. Alright, so Martin's saying in my first stand throws, I was starting pulling with the chest and getting the disc behind. Uh, once you get outside and start actually trying to throw for distance, it starts to happen, start to do things and pull just to try to get to go further. So I'm going to try to slow it down, um, not go for distance, just whatever, 30 meters, super easy. Just trying to keep it rotational and stick with my technique because it's important. Otherwise, once I get to pulls, I'll be pulling, it's not going to be going far, I'm going to be upset and, you know, the whole cycle of crap. So, uh, yeah, stand throws keep it rotational and uh, do what I got to do. Um, really starting to go without the disc. I'm just getting super anxious. Uh, it's hard to slow it down and be calm. So I'm going to try to do one more set of stands, I think. Um, really let the disc catch up keep it long so I can have better timing better finish and that hopefully translates into the fulls a bit better so <sighs> next four best four Stand throws feel solid. My last set tried to slow it down. Um, felt like better rhythm, but still you know, so hard to not be anxious, especially the first time back outdoors after a while. Um, overall, feels super good. Now it's time for some pulls. Uh, just gonna try to be strict, uh, nice and long out of the back. Try to get a nice finish and keep the disc next to me. Next to me. Um, I guess subjective to start, nice and easy. Throw around like 50 meters and then build on it from that. Um, I just can't go out swinging or I'm going to start to have a rough practice, so let's get it. Q that was really helping me the other day was having hips underneath me out of the back. Try to think going to the middle with my hips underneath me. So I'm gonna try to think about that again. Um, last set felt okay. I mean, it's the first one's never the best, but hips under, tall, just next to me. Thunder, open, just next to me.
All right, overall, pretty pleased with the day. Uh, being sick and having a rib out of place in my back really messed up my sleep last night, so didn't go very well. So considering I was pretty tired, I was super happy with the feeling of my throws today. Uh, I had a few throws that were pretty far, and this time of the year, um, just kind of not going to be going as far as obviously training when you're starting to peak and things like that. So uh, for the distances I was throwing, like really happy with that. Uh, technically, I felt a little rushy and kind of pulling off things and a little anxious just because it was the first time outdoors and starting to see the distances. I kind of uh, start trying to throw harder just because I want to see it go a bit further and then it kind of messes it up. So uh, one of those days and it is what it is and just I feel like as a thrower it just kind of happens and there's not too much you can do about it other than continue to be patient. But you know it's super hard to do that. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did. Leave a like if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be back uh, tomorrow or the next day with another training video. And I'll see you guys then.